who is like unto thee, O Lord, who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods, who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders, hallelujah. People of God, I welcome you to today's service in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Today is the first Sunday of the month of June, 2021. I want to thank God for bringing us into this month of joy. This month of June is month of joy. It's the month of joy in our lives. It's the month of joy in the lives of the people of God. And we want to thank God because we are involved, we are alive today. God kept us up to this moment. The, 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 the half of the year, the month, or the sixth month of the year. We want to thank God, we want to bless His holy name. Please, in this telecast, I want you to invite your friends, invite your brothers, invite your, your colleagues at work, invite even your enemies. Because the glory of God shall be seen in your life after today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. After this month, those who knew you may not be able to recognize you because the Lord must have lifted you higher. When they hear your testimony, when they hear what the Lord is doing in your life, it will sound to them as though they are dreaming. But it's not a dream, it's a reality. Because the Lord is about to bless the church. The Lord is about to do something great. Praise the Lord. And it shall come by the word. By the word of the living God. Whatever he says concerning you shall come to pass. He used his word to create the whole earth. He is going to use his word again. To recreate your life and manifest his goodness in your life. Praise the Lord. And so this month we are going to speak on a topic. The power of the word. The power of the word. Throughout this month that is what we are going to speak about. The power of the word. The word of God carries power. Your own word carries power because God created you in his own image and likeness and he gave unto you power to manifest and dominate the earth, to be his representative on this earth. And so what he do, you can do it. What he does, you can do it. What he did, you can do it. Praise the Lord. He used word to create the whole earth. You also can use word to transform your lives. And that is what we are going to talk about in this month. The power of the word. And so this one is part one of the power of the word. And we are going to dwell this week on speaking the word. Speak the word and see whether it will not work for you. Whatever you speak will come to pass. God created you and gave you lips and tongues so that you will be able to speak as he speaks. So that you will be able to speak the exact mind of God concerning you and concerning your family. Praise the Lord. Learn how to speak the word. It is through spoken word that the whole world was created and reformed. Even when men could not speak and things went wrong, God came back to re-transform, to regenerate the world by his word. And so this month, remember and concentrate in speaking the exact mind of God. Read the word of God. What does God say concerning you? God says you are the head. Yes, you are the head. Continue to, to prophesy it. Continue to say it. Continue to speak exactly Exactly the way God has said it. I am the head and all the tail. I am above and never beneath. 
I am progressing. I am successful. I am a child of destiny. I am a project in the hand of God. So as you begin to speak it, that project that you are in the hand of God will begin to receive power. Will begin to receive the energy of heaven to bring that which God wants to manufacture in your life. To bring it to come to pass. And so let us learn how to speak the word. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to 3. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth all of a sudden became without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. What is the meaning? Of the face of the waters. Praise the Lord. What is the meaning? What is the meaning? Let us take it from the point of view of a new beginning. Things have, things have gone wrong. Let us be frank. Things have gone wrong because we sleep, we slumber over issues. We don't take our life seriously. We run after things that are supposed to be running after us. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness is the command. And all other things shall be added unto us. Matthew chapter 6. Praise the Lord. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And this righteousness and other things shall be added unto us. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Look at when God created the heavens and the earth, everything was made beautiful. He, 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 he made the world so perfect for man. And he handed over the earth to mankind. He handed over the world to us. He said, take over, occupy till I come. Tend to this farm. Tend to this uh, garden. Look after this garden. You are in charge. But all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. But I know that what happened was that man was interested in the fruit. What goes to the stomach? When God said, thou shall not eat of this one, eat this one, eat this one, eat this one in the garden of Eden. He put Adam there. Adam said, no, when, uh, when uh, this Eve came, when Eve came, something went wrong. Something went wrong. Something went wrong. Hmm. Genesis chapter 3 says, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yeah, had God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God had commanded us, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall you even touch it, lest you die. And that is what has brought us to this level. That is why we cannot exercise the power of the word that God has given to us. That is why we cannot speak again. We can't speak. We can't even call on God on certain issues again. Because we disobeyed him. Through the appearance of the serpent. Through the appearance of, of the serpent in the garden. We are right where you are today. You can check around your life. And phantom out. Discern, discover, search out the serpent around your life. 
that is causing you and making you not to pray, making you not to say something that you are supposed to say. You know, in prayers, you must speak. Even some people just kneel down or raise up their hands and they say they are praying, they will not even open their mouth. Even when God said, open your mouth and I will fill it. In the book of Psalms, man refused to open his mouth. Man refused to, to say something. Man is ashamed of saying something because he is dead eternally because of disobedience. When God says, don't do this, you go and do it out of disobedience. That means you are contending with the author of life. And that means that you have rejected life. The Bible says that God created the heavens and the earth right from the beginning and made all things beautiful. In verse 2 of Genesis chapter 1, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Rather than light that God made the, the whole place to be, darkness took over. Because of the appearance of Satan, because of the appearance of greed, because of of what we are chasing after. The Bible said that the serpent just came and asked. It's like uh, there are certain things you are restricted not to do in this place. That is the way the devil speaks to us, even at this time. Even those people in politics, some of them went into politics with good hearts. And they said they were going to serve their people who, who voted them into that, that position. But immediately they get in there, the serpents rounded up their spirit, rounded up their intellect, took over their spirit man, and they forgot that they are children of God. They forget that they have a mandate to serve the people that voted them. And the serpent will be speaking to them, even those who are in offices, even those who, are, who have positions in companies, in organizations, who went there, with good mind, good intention, all of a sudden the devil comes and says, Ah, let me introduce you to what will make you happier. Are you going to be in this position without making money? Don't you need food to eat? Don't you need cars? Don't you need planes? Even in the church, many pastors are called by God, but now they have deviated. Because they have, they have heard a strange voice. A strange voice has taken over their ministries. A strange voice has taken over their mandate. The mandate is to preach the word, depopulate hell, and increase the people of God who have intention to go to heaven. That is our mandate. But we have gone there now to begin to look for the attachments we're going to we've gone to look for the attachment <laughs> what are the benefits of ministry well, that is what we are going after now it's no longer what the mandate that god gave to us we want to be like celebrities we want to carry crowds so that when we enter oh my god people will bow down to worship us instead of worshiping god People will look at us and say, oh, how I wish I am this guy. Oh, my God. How I wish, how I wish, how I wish. And you are spending $25,000 to buy one shirt. One shirt. Not like this, my own. This my own is maybe just, I think it's one pound, one pound, one pound. Very cheap. And maybe you may not even want to listen to me because I'm not dressed fine. But that is your business anyway. Because my business is to speak the word to you. So that when you hear the word, the word will be able to transform things in your life. That is my business. My business is not to come and show you the kind of clothes I have or I wear. That is not the mandate. The mandate is to speak a word. That can transform lives. Brother, sister, you are a child of God. You can't even speak one word, one word of God to those close to you, to those your colleagues at work. Because the devil came and said, if you speak, you will lose your job. 
and hungry will finish you? Ah, if you do this, if you do that, you will lose your job. You will lose your appointment. You will lose your life. You will lose this. But the Bible says, what shall it profit a man? If he gains the whole world and loses his soul, why not lose all those things and return your soul and return your mandate and return your life and return the instruction of God? Become obedient to the word of God. The word of God is real. He gave us the mandate to look after the garden of Eden. He gave Adam the mandate. I'm putting us in the place of Adam because Adam is long gone and the whole earth has become the garden. Though a shattered garden. Though a garden of, uh, 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 of nonsense. A garden of evil. Everywhere. Gardens of evil. Anywhere you enter. Mad people everywhere in the garden. Mad people like the serpents everywhere in the garden. Praise the Lord. And the Bible says in verse 2, darkness was hovering. When a child of light is there, how can darkness come and take over? The serpent introduced darkness. And the darkness just swept the whole earth. The whole earth became, became without form and void. Became formless. Became void, empty. Even when children of God, when a man of God prophesies, it is very hard to come to pass. Because the prophecy is to satisfy the ears, the itching ears of men who have paid for them to hear what they want to hear. Who have gathered to hear what they want to hear, not to hear the word of God. Because we are looking for crowd. We are looking for I don't know, maybe that is one of the reasons why God allowed this COVID-19 to appear. So that they will even reduce the crowd, because the crowd is misleading many of us. The crowd is misleading so many of us. I'm telling you the truth. And it's becoming a problem in the body of Christ. Crowd is becoming a problem in the body of Christ. Leading crowds to destruction. Leading crowds to even your own heart, to your own destruction. Because you have left the mandate. You have left the mandate. The Bible says that this, um, um, this gospel of the Lord shall be preached to all the nooks and crannies. It shall be preached to every corner of this earth. But you, you have chosen some corners. If it is not in the big stadium, you cannot be there. If it is not in a big auditorium, a church with big auditorium, even if you are invited, you will not come. If you don't have a crowd, nobody will even invite you, even if you have something to say. Praise the Lord. But every day they keep disturbing you with invitation. They are praying, la ba 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 ba, re ba 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 ba, early morning prayer, late evening prayer, ba ba. They will invite you. To come and pray ba, 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 with them. But because you don't have crowd, they will never invite you to come and preach in their own churches. You don't have crowd. And so you are not their mate. <laughs> uh, talk to somebody that I have a mate. I have a mate. God has prepared a mate for me. And my mate is the word of God. Whatever the word of God says I do, I do. Since I'm not your mate, stop sending all those, all those invitees to me. Prayers. Yes, thank God for that prayer. Thank God for that prayer. May God answer those prayers. And God will answer them. If those prayers are coming out of, out of your heart, out of your mind, out of your soul to save the lost. If, if it's not to attract crowds so that you know, how many people are following, how many people are in, the, in his uh, this thing, in his uh, uh, Facebook, how many people in YouTube, 
blah, 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 blah. How much will you do? You know? But brother, when you speak the word, the word of God will bring comfort to you and comfort other people. The Bible says that one man refused to do what they're supposed to do. Instead of the spirit of God regenerating life, recreating the atmosphere, making the atmosphere beautiful. No. The Bible said that the spirit of God moved on the face of the waters instead of on the face of your situations. So the anointing just remained there. The glory of God just remained on the face of the waters. Because the water cannot be steered. All the rabba, 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 ko, 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 ka, ka, ka. You are doing, couldn't even steer anything. And so the enemy came and saw time. Disrupted the creation of God. Disrupted what God handed over to you. Because you are running after six pounds an hour. Ten pounds an hour. You can't even go, listen to, you can't even go to church again. Hey, that's why in some nations they pay higher on Sundays, so that you will, so that you 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 <laughs> you be discouraged from from going to church, and you you join the bandwagon, even when you have when when you have an option of saying no 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 I will not come and it will not even affect you, but you want to get that one and uh, and claim that uh, you have you have been blessed. Thank God it's a blessing. But let me tell you, there is a blessing that passes all other all, 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 all blessings. It is the blessing of the word of God. Whatever God says you are, you will all, always be that. And you will definitely become what he wants you to be. Not by power, not by might, but by the spirit of the living God. When they refuse to do something, you know what? God now came and said, ah, if I leave man, man will perish. And that was not my covenant with them. I have the covenant of long life. I have the covenant of prosperity for them. I have the covenant of divine health for them. And so if I keep quiet, if I because they don't even know what to say, let me go and regenerate the, the, their world. The enemy has come to Sota. The enemy has destroyed their world. Let me go and do something. And in verse 3 of Genesis chapter 1, and God said, let there be light instantly without wasting time. He didn't bring a screwdriver. He didn't bring, um, 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 uh, what do you call it? Hanky. He didn't bring hanky. He didn't bring anointing oil. He didn't bring uh, all those things you are using to mesmerize your, 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 your gullible followers. No, he didn't bring them. He just spoke a word. Let there be light. And there was light instantly. And everybody, including God, saw the light and that it was good. And right from that day, God divided the light from darkness. Now the division has been made. Where do you belong? Which side of this division do you belong? Are you on the side of light or on the side of darkness? Because there are so many people who are even using, using strange gods to do ministry. And it is backfiring even as I speak with you. The one who is giving them all this stuff in Ghana, that man is under torment by the power that is higher than, than, than his power. And he is confessing that he gave this strange stuff to thousands of thousands and thousands of pastors and ministers. And he is moving from one church to the other, connecting the back. I saw that video. And I said, oh, wow. These are guys who are pulling crowd. <laughs> and he was running like yo-yo, trying to cover <laughs> what the fetish, what the witch doctor came around for. He was running around. The witch doctor said, give me that power. Because I, I, they said I, I, I should die. I have to die if I don't collect that power from all of you. And there he's collecting the power. <laughs> Otherwise, himself would die. 
Because she has used that thing to, to, to push millions of people to, 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 to the dungeon of Satan. To the side of darkness. Even innocent ones who didn't know, they thought they were in the, on the side of light. They never knew they, they were or they are on the side of darkness. The Bible said that God divided light and darkness. <laughs> I don't know which side you belong. But it is not too late, brother. It is not too late, sister. You can make a shift. You can transfer. You can begin to speak the word. From today, you begin to speak the word. Say, I am part of the light. I belong to the side of light. I belong to the side of truth. Not the side of darkness. Not the side of falsehood. False prophets everywhere. Mad people everywhere. Deceiving people. And God has been warning them to desist from this. Even those who started well, because of linking up, they want to be big and large. Big man of God. Oh, Bishop. Oh, Archbishop. Oh, Apostle this. Oh, Prof, Prof, Professor. Yeah, 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 yeah. They want to be like that. And they have aligned themselves with those who are on the path of darkness. They have aligned themselves with those who hate light. They deliberately went to the side of darkness. And you, you have discovered. And instead of running away for your life, you are still there. And you think yourself. Remember. The word of God is real. The word of God is powerful. Whatever he says about you will come to pass. No man can help you when God cannot help you. Are you hearing me, somebody? You have to be the prophet of your own self first before you become prophet to others. Even though things are not working now, but let me tell you, it will work. God is just training you. Just keep speaking the word. What did God say I am? God says I am successful. God says I am the head. God says anywhere the sole of my feet shall tread I shall possess. That is the word of God. And yet I am here. Maybe nothing is happening. But I know I have possessed it. But at the appointed time. The word of God will speak in my life. The word of God will manifest in my life. Continue to speak the word. You can control your destiny. By speaking the word of God. Are you hearing me somebody? When you speak good things about you, good things will begin to happen. When you speak good things, prophesy good things in the life of others, good things will begin to happen to you, brother. Don't be afraid of those who can torment you. You may be uncomfortable now, but it's left for you. You can use your word, the word of God in your mouth, to silence the enemy. In Joshua chapter... Joshua chapter 10, maybe from verse 12 to 14. Joshua chapter 10. I want to show you something. A man of the same manner like you and I. He was not an airline or airline as they call it. It was not a spirit, uh, spirit, human being, or ne ne nephilim, or whatever they call them, because there are so many of them here and there, cloned human beings. Now they have cloned human beings coming from different planets to come and pollute the earth. Be careful! Don't go into where they are the ones <laughs> orchestrating things to happen.
where they are the ones running things. Be careful. Cloned characters, cloned spirits are working in men to destroy this world. Don't be part of them. You can use the word of God in your mouth to turn things around in your life or even in your nation or even in your city or even in your family. All you have to do is to continue to pray. Joshua one day, because of what was going on in the land, time was going, time was passing and passing up. Ah, those who are supposed to marry, they are not married. Things are going. 2021 is going. People are not marrying. People who are supposed to be having children. They don't even have wife, not to talk of children. They don't have husband, not to talk of children. And all of a sudden, this man of God, Joshua, remember that God has given him power through the world. And he looked around. <laughs> In verse 9 of, of, of uh, Joshua chapter 10, Let me read from verse 8. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear those people not. Don't fear them, those that are challenging you. Those that are saying you cannot progress. Those that are saying you cannot marry. Those that are saying, look, you have power that I've given unto you. You have to use it. God said in verse 8, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into thy own hand. There shall not be a man of them that can stand before thee. All you have to do is to speak the word. They are harassing you today in your family. They are harassing you all over, even in your place of work. All you have to do is to declare the word of God. Go to that office and declare the word. Go to that your family and declare the word. The Bible says, and that is God speaking to Joshua. He said, don't be afraid of them. Don't be afraid of them because I have already delivered them into your hands. And therefore, there is none of them that shall be able to stand before you. You are untouchable, Joshua. Brother, you are untouchable. Sister, you are untouchable. Only learn how to speak the word. Only learn how to use the word of God in your mouth to deliver yourself. That is the only thing you have to do. And Joshua therefore came on to them suddenly. Suddenly, take them by surprise. Let the wind of God and the power and the power in his word take them by surprise. And then he went up from Giga all night. All night. He, he, he decided to settle the matter through prayers all night. Giga is where men settle their account. Giga is a place of prayer. Giga is a place of using the word in your mouth to transform things. And the Lord discomfited them before Israel. The Lord fought the battle for, for them. The Lord discomfited them before Israel and slew them all with a great slaughter at Gibeon and chased them along the way that goeth up to Bat-Torun and smote them to Azekah and unto Makeda and unto Makeda. And it came to pass as they were fleeing all those witches and wizards. You don't need, need to keep quiet. I wonder why some people even don't want to pray. I wonder why some men of God are even discouraging prayers. Rather, what they call encourage is comedy. The time they, they, they are supposed to use to pray in the church, 
They are using it to do comedy. They are using it to do comedy. Or to play, play some music and dance. They invite the juju, juju, juju uh, players, juju musicians to come and play on the altar of God. Even when ministers of God cannot be invited there, they invite people from the, from the other side, the side of darkness, to come and perform on the altar of God. Whereas there are young men and women of God out there that we are supposed to come to that altar, speak a word that will transform the congregation. No, they will not invite them because they will not bring crowd. Hmm. My God. And it came to pass as they fled before Israel. And we are in the going down to Bataron that the Lord casts down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekah, and they all died there. How did it happen? The Bible said that Joshua came unto them suddenly. And then he went where? Unto Gilgal all night. He went to Gilgal all night. Through all night prayers. The Lord manifested. The Lord released stones. Stones from heaven. Great stones from heaven. And poured it upon the enemies. And they all died. They were more which died with hailstones than they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. Hey, don't pray. All this fire, fire, fire. Every day, fire, fire, fire. Fire prayers. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Pastor, don't always pray fire. Just take it gentle. This is 21st century. You are a remote guy. African pastor, black pastor, why are you like this? Don't pray like this. Pray gentle. Just uh, speak the, just pray. Our Father who is at in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. That is enough, pastor. All this fire, fire. No, 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 no. This is 21st century. This is gentleman's period. This is, uh, we are in advance uh, this and advance that. Advance word. When the devil is advancing in weaponry to destroy you, you are, you are advancing in disarming yourself, advancing in foolery. The devil is advancing, 21st century demon now, they have gone berserk. They are advancing using terrorists, converting many to terrorists and bandits. And they are going after you. In broad daylight. And you are telling me, uh, Pastor, take it easy. All this uh, Holy Ghost fire is not good. It's not good. It will even cause earthquake somewhere. Eh? Earthquake. Yeah, that's it better. That is better. Let the earthquake come. Come upon them. The Bible said that his, his stone, the Lord. Huh. Let, me re let me read it again. And it came to pass. As they fled from before Israel, and they were in going down to Bataron, that the Lord Himself cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekah, and they all died. Who who released the stone? Is it Pastor? Is God who released the stone? What are you telling me? Let there be earthquake. Was it not earthquake that released Jesus from grave? The earthquake that swallowed those who were watching over him. Was it not earthquake? Where did it come from? It was earthquake. So if I cause earthquake, so be it. Next time they will not they, they, they will not try me again. Next time they will not try you again. Cause earthquake. Let there be earthquake, brother. <laughs> cause earthquake, even in your family. So that those who are after your life, those who are after to pull you down, to pull down your ministry, they will go down with the earthquake. And then the ministry of Jesus Christ must go. 
Must move on. Must go on. Verse 12. When Joshua saw that his going to the Giga was not in vain, he decided to perform wonders. <laughs> he decided to show off his own power. The Lord has released uh, uh, great stones to crush them into to crush them into pieces and grind them into powder so that they all died. And that the remaining ones that didn't know how it happened, they must know who caused this earthquake. They must know who moved the hand of God. It was Joshua who went to Gilgal. It was Joshua who went all night praying that made God to release the hill, her stone. The man got to release the stone that grinded the enemies into powder. And Joshua wanted them to know that that stone did not come by, uh, uh, by main wishes. It came through a man and who had the word of God in his mouth. And you know what Joshua did? And then Joshua spoke to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. <laughs> man with the word of God, man with the power, man who knows that there is power in the world. He spoke the word. He thanked the Lord. For delivering up Amorites into the hands of Israel. He thanked the Lord. <laughs> My God. And he said, Now let me exercise the power of the world. And he said, Son, from today stand still. You shall not move. Stand still over, Gib over Gibeon. And you moon, stand still over the valley of Ajalon. You will not move until I release you to move. You son, you will not move until I release you to move. This happened about 3,228 years ago. 3,228 years ago. That's when this happened. That's when Gil, uh, um, um, Joshua commanded the sun to stand still. You know that you have, you have Christ and he gave unto you power. You can command everything to stand still. He commanded both the sun and the moon to stand still over a nation. Over the, the, the city or the town of Gibeon. And he stood still. It is too still. The sun's too still all over the world. Till today, they have not recovered that time. <laughs> 3,228 years ago, it happened. Oh my God. And the sun stood still in verse 13. The sun stood still, obey the world, obey the voice of a man who knows that there is power in the world. You, you can speak the word. You can command your enemy's, enemy's hand to be roasted and it will be roasted. You can command thunder to fall upon the nation that is troubling your family, upon those criminals, upon those terrorists. And strange stone will fall in their midst and they will be dried up. You will be, you, 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 you will be the deliverer of your generation. God expects you to do that. He says, I give unto you power to trample upon serpents and scorpions and upon all the weapons of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. How do you trample on it? Uh, you have no gun. You have no AK-47. You have no armored cars. You have no jet, jet fighter. It is the word. Speak the word. Speak the word. Let us pray for Nigeria. What is the prayer you are praying for, Nigeria? Speak a word. Release a word. 
that will stay the hand of the enemy, that dry up the hand of the enemy, that will roast the, 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 the hands of, of those native doctors who call themselves pastors that are laying hands and transferring you to the, to the depth of darkness. You can speak a word. God is looking for a man who can speak. If you make yourself available, you can command the sun to stand still over your nation until that which God wants to happen in that nation happens. And you can stand still. Joshua commanded the sun to stand still over Gibeon and the moon to stand still over Ajalon. You can command the sun you can command anything to happen in your nation. You can command the whole, the, the whole National Assembly to collapse and sink. Whereas all of them are there planning evil to kill people. You can cause it. You can command it to happen and it will happen. Are you hearing me? Samson did it. When they troubled the people of God, when they troubled Israel, Samson did it alone. The one mistake he made, he said, let me die with them. Oh God, give me the power again so that these people, I will pull them down and they will die. I will not let them, let them die and let me also die with them. That was the mistake the man did. If he didn't say it, he would have lived. He would have said, Something I'm talking about. He would have said, oh Lord, cause me to bring down this, the whole of this, this national assembly. Let them sink and I will escape from them. And then we know that there is a God that has started by fire. Then we know that there are men who knows how to activate the power in the word of God. That would have been the prayer of Samson. But he uttered a word which destroyed him. There is power in word. Power in spoken word. Power. There is power in spoken word. Native doctors are using it. Necromancers are using it. Why can't you use the word of God? The most powerful word that you can have. Why can't you use it? You can do it. You can do it. And the sun stood still. And the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. When, oh my God, Joshua commanded the sun, the moon, the astral powers to stand still. Oh, they are, they are, they are, they are warring, dark warring powers, they are foreign powers. He commanded them to stand still until they avenged their enemies. And sun stood still, moon stood still until they were able to defeat their enemies. You can do it. You can terminate this mayhem going on in Nigeria. You can terminate it by what? By spoken word. Not by speaking some political talks. There are some words you have to speak in Gilgal. <laughs> like Joshua, he went up to Gilgal all night. One night, one night, one night. Many of us, we are doing it 17 nights, 20 nights, 30 nights, nothing is happening. Why? Check yourself. Check yourself. Check your heart. You need to renew your mind. The Bible said that God said, let there be light, and there was light. Things began to take shape. Things were transformed. Darkness was driven be below recognition, and it divided. Divided darkness from light. Say, this one is light, this one is darkness. You cannot put your feet on the path of light, and on another feet on the uh, another foot on the path of darkness. No. That is why we go to our Gilgal 
or our, or our, our night vigil or vigil night as you may call it, our tarry night. That's why when we go there, nothing happens. When we come back, nothing happens. Joshua went up to Giga all night. <laughs> and her stone fell. And great stone fell across the enemies. And he decided to show that it did not just happen. It happened through the all night he did the previous night. He came and spoke to the people of God. He said, God, thank you for doing this for us. But it is not time for me to exercise that power you gave to me. Oh, you son, you have to stand still. Oh, you moon, you have to stand still until my people are avenged, until I avenge my enemies, until they are destroyed. And verse 14, I said, the last stanza of verse 13, he said, Is this not written in the book of Jesha? Is it not written in the book of Joshua, which is Joshua? So the song stood still in the midst of heaven and hasted not to go down about a whole day, 24 hours. 24 hours. Darkness could not appear. No, 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 no. <laughs> Even though God divided it, he took over both the side of darkness and the side of light. It was supposed to be 12 hours for light, 12 hours for darkness. No, 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 he took over everything. Joshua decided to cover the whole, the whole system. On that one moment, he spoke the word, there shall not be darkness today for 24 hours until I finish my enemies. You that you operate on the side of darkness, you will not operate today. I terminate your assignment in the name of Jesus. I terminate your enterprise in the name of Jesus. For 24 hours, no darkness. <laughs> the sun stood still. The moon stood still. Both of them were shining at the same time. Let us see how darkness will appear. Let us see how they will operate. For 24 hours. For a whole day. And there was no day like that before. It and after it, that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man. For the Lord fought for Israel. Since that day, such a thing has not happened. Why? Prophet, why? Even before Joshua, it did not happen. Even after Joshua, it has not happened. Joshua did not fly aeroplane. Joshua did not drive cars. He walked on his feet. As a servant of the Most High God. The mouthpiece of heaven. The mouthpiece of God. The Bible said that God hearkened unto the voice of a man. God can hearken unto your voice, brother. May God hearken unto our voice in this month of June. May June respond to our voice. May God honor our voice. May God honor our, our, our declaration this month of June. This month of June, as I declare, is the month of joy for you and I. Is the motor joy for your family? Is the motor joy in your place of work? Yo, you that have never been promoted, you shall be promoted this month. You that you, 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 you have never seen a man coming to ask you hand in marriage, it shall happen this month. You that you don't have money to execute your marriage, money shall come into your account this month. By the spoken word of God, Joshua commanded light to cover the whole earth for 24 hours. Throughout this June, I command light to take over your being. I command light to take over your lives, to take over your place of work, to take over your business. I command light to take over your womb. You will conceive, those of you looking for the fruit of the womb, and you will be a son, a son that shall be called Joshua, that can, can stay the hand, that can stay the, 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 the movement of, storm of the sun and the moon, that can stop the hand of the wicked from torturing people. Praise the Lord. That shall be our portion. Verse 15, I said, he said that Joshua returned 
and all Israel with him unto the camp to where to Giga. When they saw this power, they followed Joshua back to Giga. People were willing to pray. People were willing to tarry before the presence of God. <laughs> they were willing to tarry. Because they have seen the power of God. How can this thing happen? Verse 16, he said, But these five kings, they fled, and they hid themselves in a cave at Makeda. <laughs> and they told Joshua, <laughs> saying, The five kings are found hidden you know, in a cave at Makeda. And Joshua said, Roll great stone upon the mouth of that cave, and set men by it. For to keep them there. Let them be. All those kings that are, that are attacking you. Your president is, is releasing armies to come and destroy you. The five kings. Five presidents of nations. That ganged up against the people of God. Against the children of Israel. Joshua. When he was told. He said now nah, roll great stones. That place where they are hiding. They are not coming out. You can chase them out of that their office. You can chase them out of Faso Rock. You can chase them out of the National Assembly. And anywhere they go to hide, you tighten their condition there. Let them feel what others are feeling. Let them feel the heat as well. No fan, no, no, no air condition. You can do it. You can terminate that nonsense in that nation called Nigeria. You can do it. The Bible said all the people of Israel, they went with Joshua to Gilgal. Are you hearing me? To the camp. There was a camp in Gilgal. If I say come to Beautiful Gate International Christian Center, let us, let us declare a thing and let it happen. No, you will not come because you, <laughs> this man is not a popular pastor. I don't know his face. I have not seen the crowd following him. <laughs> you may not come. But those who will come. The Bible says that when they came, they prayed. As they were praying, they brought words. They said, <laughs> something has happened though. The president is nowhere to be found. The, the, the senior president is nowhere to be found. All the governors, they have run away. They are hiding in a cave in Makeda. They have run to Niger. They have run to Mali. They are hiding in Ghana. Oh, you know what the man of God said? He said, okay, if that is the case, roll great stones upon the mouth, upon the door of the cave, and so, so that men shall watch over them. Put them in prison there. Catch them and put them in prison there. They will not come out. Since they are running. <laughs> Verse 19, I said, they stayed ye, and stay ye not, but pursue after your enemies and smile the hoodlums from the handmost of them. Suffer them not to enter into their cities. For the Lord your God has delivered them into your hands. This says the word of the Lord. Pursue them, chase them. Do not allow them to continue to torment you. That is the word of God. You can chase them. Are you hearing me? Don't just stay there. Eh? Pursue after your enemies. Because if you don't pursue them, they will come after you to destroy you. I thank God that so many of them are already doing what I'm talking about in that country called Nigeria. Many of them will soon be on their own. My first message in March... <laughs> I, 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 I told you that God is going to raise an angel that will go and begin to finish at least 105,000. And a, a week or two weeks after, we began to hear about uh, unknown, unknown gun men or men gone known. <laughs> oh my God. That is power from the world. That is power. May God raise the armies of heaven. Let those kings that are after your lives, let them run away. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost chase them out of, of their positions. Wherever they hide, may the Lord roll stones 
into where they are hiding. Let them remain there. Let them be let them be disgraced by fire. Let them be disgraced by thunder. And let God raise an army that will chase them. Scatter them. Do not allow them to go to their hometown again. Do not allow them to go to their cities again. No, 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 no. They will not enjoy that money. That blood money. They will not enjoy it. Do not allow chase them out of chase them out of out of, out, out of their comfort zones. May the fire of the God, Holy Ghost chase them out of their comfort zones. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They may have captured so many of you, but the Lord will deliver you as he delivered uh, 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 Peter. The Lord delivered Peter, he will deliver you. As I say it, so shall it come to pass. They may have arrested some members of the indigenous people of Biafra, some indigenous or citizens of Igbo land. They may have arrested other people in the way, in the quest of looking for who to kill, who to destroy. But the word of God has come to bring peace. Jesus said, the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy, but I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. If you repent today, the arsenals of the enemy will not come near you. The traps of the enemy will not catch you. The armies of the enemy will not come near you. As they are preparing to come, the ground will open to swallow them. The Lord will raise a standard against them. Even the witches and wizards that are fighting you, you will see them perish at once. Chase them. Join the forces, the Omega Force. Join the Omega Force and chase them. Pursue them. Do not allow them to go back to their cities any longer. Let Abuja become too hot for them to handle. Let their, 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 their seats of power become too hot for them to handle. Let them know that it is God that reigneth and ruleth in the affairs of men. May the Lord bless you this week. May the Lord bless your family. May the Lord bless your hands. Whatever you lay your hands this week shall prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I prophesy, even as I am commanded, that every darkness before you shall flee this week. I command such darknesses to melt and disappear. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every darkness of sickness, I command it to melt and disappear right from the crown of your head to the source of your feet. Every sickness and disease resident in your body, I command it to melt and disappear. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command that blocked womb, that blocked fallopian tube that refuses to allow baby to remain in that womb, I command it to open now. That blocked womb, Open in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Open. You that money is your problem. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command financial breakthrough to locate you. Financial favor to come to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Long life and prosperity shall the Lord satisfy you. Satisfy you. May all. Who think that you are finished. Know that you are serving a living God. They will see it from this month. You will experience the glory of God. You will experience the joy of heaven. This month you will have joy. This month you have peace. This month you will rejoice and be glad that you serve a living God. May it be so unto you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And the saints of God shout a great Amen.